A teen boy who was involved in a fight at East Kentwood High School, captured on video and circulated widely on social media, will face an assault charge. Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker announced his decision this morning. We're not showing the video because it involves minors and violence. News A's Byron Tollefson talked with the prosecutor about what went into his decision to charge and the message it sends. Byron? Brian and Sue with a student now facing a criminal charge for the fight captured on video. The prosecutor says it shows authorities will do what's necessary to keep schools safe. But he emphasizes that there's a lot students can do to avoid ever getting to this point. That. Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker says the widely circulated 20-second video showing an East Kentwood teen repeatedly kicking another student on the ground only told part of the story. When you get the social media clip, it's usually 20 seconds, 30 seconds, a, a snippet of what exactly occurred. And, and from a law enforcement perspective, from a prosecutor's perspective, we got to look at the entire incident, how did it happen, and very almost every case, we don't, you don't have that in the 20-second clip. Since last Thursday's fight spread on social media, the Kent County Sheriff's Department's investigation uncovered other video not publicly shared and heard from witnesses revealing there was more to the situation. Superintendent Kevin Polston says the video showed the last reprehensible seconds of a longer fight, adding both students had the chance not to engage before it escalated. Becker did not share what the investigation found, citing the fact it's a juvenile matter, but now it's led to the boy being charged with misdemeanor assault and battery. Um, everybody got a snippet of the video, but there's other video, other facts and circumstances, other witness statements. The charge carries up to 93 days in jail for adults, but not for juveniles. So the teen is looking at probation, community service, and restitution for any damages done. It's nothing pleasant that, you know, you want to do, go through, whether it be, you know, your kid or even the family murder it impacts the family, especially with all this being on social media. With the charge, Becker wants to send the message that violence won't be tolerated in schools. I think we wanted to make a stand that, you know, schools should be a safe place for kids to learn and doing everything we can to make those safe for the kids and, and parents' peace of mind. The video shows a number of students watching the situation. Becker says they did the right thing by not intervening. You know, who knows, they get hit, they get caught up in it, they get hurt, you know, just being a bystander, trying to be a hero, if you will. He says the best thing for kids to do is find a teacher or administrator as soon as possible, or a school resource officer, which East Kenwood High School just put in place back in the spring. To have somebody that's going to build trust with the students to maybe report and talk to the you know kids when something like this happens, but to intervene. Students can also send tips anonymously through OK to Say or Silent Observer. They can even get a $50 reward that tip leads to an arrest or leads to some information, they can make $50. So I think it's a great program and incentive, and it can be anonymous as well, be it online or they even have an app. Becker says tips help school officials get involved early and stop fights in their tracks. So something like this never ends up at the prosecutor's office. We're trying to work with our partners in, in the schools and uh, have a safe learning environment because that's what kids should be at school for, learning, not worrying about stuff like this. Becker doesn't anticipate any more charges in this case. Back to you.